Okay, hold on. I have to. I have to. I have to make a comment. I'm sorry. I know this is like impeding on the the concept of the tournament and stuff, but like I already talked about this post right where I was like. I, I wasn't a fan of it, and then I gave my follow-up. I said, me, I'll still follow and support Phil. He's my friend. I expect he won't find himself in this position again. That's my course of action. I think it's reasonable. This person said, me, I'll still follow and support a racist. He's my racist friend, and I expect he won't find himself publicly being a racist and just keep private. That's my course of action. I think it's reasonable. I'll fix that for you. Do, do do people really think that Phil is racist because of because he used the N-word casually? And then like, and it was like an old, like it was like old messages. And he's now like, like obviously like hold held to the standard that he's not going to do it again. I don't understand this. It, it's so confusing to me. Like, and I said, could you give me a reasonable explanation on why you truly believe Phil is racist? I'm genuinely curious if you could provide a decent argument for how he would fit that description. And they said, if you haven't figured out why yourself, that's on you. This is what people that do. This is what people that hold these kind of positions do. They strong arm you into like, oh, well, if you don't know better, if you don't know better, then I shouldn't have to educate you. It's like, motherfucker, have a conversation or don't. Like, don't... I hate people that don't know how to fucking debate or have any kind of, a like, a reasonable argument. Like, I'm asking you to have a calm and normal conversation with me, and they do that, oh, well, if you don't understand it, I shouldn't have to explain it to you. It's like, shut the fuck up. You're a fucking idiot on the internet. You're a literal fucking child. You're a moron. You don't know shit. You just say things because you saw somebody else say it, and then you wanted to say it. Like, reasonably state your, your opinion. Just state it. Tell it to me. I'll tell you mine. Then we can walk away and agree to disagree. It's all that. It's that simple. I so that's not a reasonable way to have a debate or discussion. You're making a claim that he's racist. The burden of proof is on you. I could easily share my perspective on why I believe that's false. If you would like to have the conversation with me, and of course that's the response. Look at these fucking morons. Literal morons. Literal idiot. Like I'm being very on, like normal and reasonable, and trying to have a conversation and trying to have a debate, and this person responds with, "I'm not your mother," and Keck W. Fucking idiots. Literal troglodyte morons. It's fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> I don't care what their race is. I don't care what their gender is. It doesn't, none of it matters to me. This is all like anything that's like, this is so stupid. What a moron. An uneducated piece of shit loser. Chronically online, bored weirdo. That's what this person is. Weirdo. Nice chat. Have a good night. Like, it's so stupid. Like, you actually have to be an idiot to believe this. It's just so, like, it's so disappointing. From the human perspective, it's dis a fucking pointing. Like, dude, if you're gonna have a fucking unreasonable take, or if you're gonna have a take, at least be able to fucking back it up. Fucking morons. Actually just triggers me. That, like, I don't get upset about a lot of things. I get upset about stupid. Seeing stupid, that pisses me off. What up, John? I can't stay. I have such an intolerance for stupidity. That bothers me. Fuck, dude. Like, I can tell you, you want to know why I know, why I know Phil isn't racist? Because he said a word in the context of non-hate, non-malicious intent. It was a word he should not have been using. Yes, absolutely. But there is no evidence or no, no experience that I have been a part of, no circumstances that I have seen, nothing at all that would indicate to me that he has any malice intent or hatred in his heart. It's that simple. I know Phil. I've talked with Phil. I've seen how he acts. He does not strike me as someone that that has malicious intent towards any group of, of, of people, especially a marginalized group of people. I don't believe that. If you want to be dumb and stupid and arrogant to truth just because of the fact that you want to paint your narrative and paint your picture on someone, go for it. But you're a fucking moron. Who cares? Like, I'm so sick of these fucking wannabe fucking activists that think they're doing anything and all they're doing is sitting in a fucking apartment typing on Twitter. Losers. Literal losers. Wild cancel culture west right now. It's fucking. It's just sad to see. It's so disappointing to see people like throw away logic and reason for the sake of like bolstering up their own like self righteous activism, right? And that's what they believe. They believe they're doing the right thing. They're actually just being fucking lunatic assholes. It's literally all they're doing. Able to lock down that Reggie Steel for It's actually crazy. They, they literally think they're doing good and they're actually the fucking problem or a big part of the problem. Other reasons chilling back while we implode. 
You're telling me, did you watch that fucking Putin interview? Motherfucker was just chilling. He was just like, yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> fucking Putin was chilling, bro. He was like, eh. He was like, I try to be amicable with y'all. Y'all don't really like us. <laughs> it's all virtue signaling delusion for the most part. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. My difference is that I don't feel the need to conform to that shit. I don't care. You don't like me? Cool. What are you going to do to stop me from ever doing anything I want to do? Nothing. You're not going to cancel me because I don't care. And I'm not even hateful. That's the crazy part. You could have people that actually are transphobic and actually bigoted and those people you still kind of sometimes can't do anything about i'm not even hateful i just don't give a fuck about your bullshit like i'm just not gonna play into your like oh what you, what you believe is truth oh okay i guess i believe it too no i'm allowed to disagree with you you don't like it what are you gonna do about it not a goddamn fucking thing you're gonna bitch and moan about how i am shut up but Shut the fuck up. You, you'll, these, and that's the thing. These people will never fucking control me. They'll never have anything they can ever do. And they will quite, they will bitch and moan and kick and scream knowing they can't fucking stop me from sharing my opinion. Because guess what? Even though my opinion is not hateful, you can't stop it. <laughs> they're just fucking, they're, they're obsessed, bored lunatics. Addicted to drama? I mean, to be fair, I'm a little addicted to drama, too. I, I, I enjoy it, I just wish it was more reasonable. I like the drama, I just don't like the, the stupidity that comes with it. I like debates, dude. I like I like having a, ver a variety of opinions and being able to come together and talk about things. I don't like people, like, strong-arming you into either, either you believe what I believe or you're wrong. It's like, that's not right. And then getting that that's not right. <laughs> that's just not how that's not how it works. That's it's, it's categorically false. They need to don't see the need to. I'm just gonna keep watching who I want and give the benefit of the or the lack of the benefit of whoever me thinks. Exactly. You're allowed to make your own opinions for yourself. You don't need to be told, and you don't have to agree with people, and you don't even have to make a post about it. Just do whatever's best for you. Live your life. Do what's best for you. You know. Oh, Twitter's just a cesspool of hate. That's all it is, and don't like it. I mean, but it, it like it is. And it isn't. It's just. It's just. A, it's. You know what it is. It's like the Im the immunity of being forced to actually have real, meaningful, reasonable conversations on Twitter. It's the anonymity effect, right? It's the I can feel this way. I can say this way with no repercussions. And I'm not saying like like let's say I was debating someone in real life. It's not like it would turn into like the the fear or the threat of violence. It's like you would have to stand in front of me and truly debate me, right? Like you would have to you would have to literally stand on your point and truly debate me. And most people aren't actually capable of doing that. So what they do is they take to social media they put a hard stance on something and if you don't agree with them then you're wrong and it's like that's not how debating works like there's such a missing social element to actually doing and having opinions on twitter um which is like you actually have to mean what you say and you have to prove what you say and you have to have reasonable discussions and, and the word reasonable is really important to me because so many people have opinions and they're fucking unreasonable they're crazy they're lunatic positions and they can't actually stand for them because they don't have to they can just post it on Twitter and walk away. <laughs> they can just post on Twitter and walk away. That's all they have to do. It's annoying. <laughs> Dude, someone made a 12 minute video about the drama. You can't be real with this shit, dude. You actually can't be real with this shit. People actually making content about the drama now. That's where Unite is, bro. Who? I'm not going to say their name. I refuse. They literally made a 12 minute video about the fucking drama like they're covering it like a like a fucking drama alert Keemstar post. There's no way, dude. There's actually no way and they're like cutting to tweets. Like look, I'm not going to show the channel but they're like cutting to tweets and stuff in the video. <laughs> These people are actually so ready to jump in and get as many views and attention as they can get, dude. Oh my god, there's no fucking way. Oh my god. Oh no, not the fucking 30 views this video is gonna get. Whatever will we do. Dude, that's so sad. Like, someone's actually covering New Night Drama. You know what? Oh my god. Oh my god. I should just do it. That's just what that's what my grip should be. I should just turn into the fucking Unite Drama Alert guy and just corner corner the fucking market. Oh my god. Could you imagine how much fucking bullshit I would get for doing that? 
Oh my god, could you imagine? I don't think I could actually pull it off, but could you imagine if I actually did that? I would get so much hate. People are like, look at him, he's doing it for views. It's like everyone's doing it for view. Everyone that's posting on Twitter or posting about this shit is doing it for views. Oh my god, that's so good, dude. Bro, that's actually so funny. No, I, but I refuse to tell y'all. You can go look for this yourselves. I refuse to give this 16 view video that was posted two hours ago any attention. I refuse. That's actually fucking insane. <laughs> that's actually so fucking insane. Like, all I, dude, it, it's actually super simple content. All you do is cover your opinions on the topic. It wouldn't be that it would actually, first of all, it would take my opinions and put them in a, I might fucking do it. Right, let me, you know what? Let me sleep on this idea. Let me sleep on becoming the fucking Unite drama guy. Let me think about that for a little bit. Cause I, I could do it in like, I could do it in a real Asmund gold kind of way. Because if I did it, then it's not, it's not even like, it's more of just me sharing my opinion about it as opposed to it being like a produced thing. I don't know. That's actually crazy. I'm asleep on that idea. It's actually a brilliant fucking idea. I think it's terrible, but it's actually a brilliant idea. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually a, it's fucking, that's a fucking brilliant idea, dude. You know, people would watch it. They're too, you know why I know it would do well. I know it would do well because people are obsessed with drama. And then people are obsessed with either being against my perspective or agreeing with my perspective. I won't say people are obsessed with agreeing with my perspective, but they, like people want to know what the fuck I have to say. Even if they hate me, they still want to know. So then they would watch it and then they would use it to post on Twitter about it. Oh my fuck, dude, it would be like self-marketing. It would fucking, it would be an endless cycle of me creating shit content to shove down their fucking faces because they're obsessed. And then they would be so upset about it. They would take the fucking content. They would take the content and then they would post about it. And then the content, would generate more for oh my god oh my i have to walk away i have to walk away for a second i have to think about what up rin how's it going buddy hello drama streamer do you stream okay you know what to be fair have you streamed about all this stuff you know what rin i've got some questions <laughs> i've got I've got some questions man i really do i really do Cause fuck, dude, the NA scene go crazy, huh? It actually just goes so crazy, so incredibly crazy. You want a VC? Uh, I mean, like, kinda, kinda. Is that a good idea? I mean, I definitely don't shy away from the idea of it. No, I feel like it's a really bad idea, but it's funny. Okay, wait, before before we do something so ludicrous, what are we talking about? Do you really stream that phone call? Yeah, I did, baby. <laughs> yeah, I did. What are we talking about? Because there's so much going on, right? Like, there's so much noise. There's, like, in a competitive North American scene imploding because everybody is just, like, they're, they're just, they, dude, they, they play buddy-buddy. They play way too much buddy-buddy. Um, then there's, like... The controversy of Feral Evie and Phil, right? Which I definitely think there's a, like a fair conversation to be had around all that. And then, and this is a point that I I particularly give a lot of shit about. It's like the the do these Twitter activists, bro. I'm sorry, they're all bad. They are all bad for the community. None of them are like I think that they mean well, but they're all bad. They're all fucking lunatics. They're all crazy. They all think they're holier than thou. They're they're fucking lunatics. They're crazy. They're crazy fucking people. They're crazy people parading as good people, and it's fucking lunatic shit. And I like and you know what? And that has nothing to do with their views. I have no, I don't give a fuck about their views. I align with most of their views. It has nothing to do with that. They're just the way that they do things is the opposite of how I do things. And then they paint me as the bad guy. They're fucking crazy, and everybody fucking knows they're crazy but you you not you know you don't want to be on the other side of their fucking gun but they're crazy people so there's a lot of shit to talk about you know i think it just depends on like where the conversation goes and like what the focus is because i actually think that like the north american i'm on the other side of the gun right now it's fucking crazy well i mean of course you are you've kind of always been on the other side of that gun um and and it, it like mostly i guess makes sense because they have to have someone to aim at they have to have someone to aim at and they don't know what to do if they don't so they find someone to aim at 
Like, they tried to cancel Chris. They tried to cancel Spraggles. They're going to go after every competitive player, some of which absolutely need to. You know what? The simplest thing is, like, if you if, if a person has committed a crime, even if they're convicted or, like, even if there's an inter intervention at all, what happened with Spraggles? Well, he's friends with me, so clearly he's harboring a sexual harassing transphobe, right? Like, he's, like, how dare he? How dare he do something so heinous as being friends with someone the likes of me, right? It's ridiculous. You know, how dare anybody, you know, have free will outside of the opinions of a collective group? They don't like that. They don't like that. That's not good for them. It's not good for business. You can't be a successful ad, uh, activist if there's nothing to be an activist against, right? Am I multi-streaming? Yeah, I'm on YouTube and Twitch right now. The hive mind shit is crazy, dude. Like, I, I, you know, I don't even know if I want to call it an echo chamber. It really just feels hive-minded. Like, it's, they believe one thing, and they're like a fucking hydra. Like, if you cut off the head, like, holy fuck, they just start popping out of fucking nowhere. I can talk about why the United scene is the way that it is. Probably the thing I can highlight the best. I mean, fuck it. If you want to, I'm down. I don't, I don't care. I, I don't really have... I'm watching OCE. We can leave that on the background. Fa okay. Ah, man. What do we do with this conversation? Because I'm, I'm already on the fence about just reacting and talking to all about all Unite drama for content anyways. I could fucking demonetize. I don't care. I don't need the money. It's really just interesting how the Unite scene has played out. Yeah, it's really interesting how the Unite scene has played out. You know what's wild? I, you know what? I wonder if you would agree with this take I'm about to have. Of all of the controversial people that have been canceled, crazy shit that has happened in the Unite scene, do you think I'm at the peak of the, of the bad people? I wonder if that, like, is because I feel like I'm nowhere fucking close. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm absolutely nowhere fucking close to some of the bad shit that has actually happened and gone down. But, like, you know, it's not really, like, comparison's kind of a fucking pointless thing to do but it's like these people like like truly do I, I see people like say i'm just this terrible awful crazy person the worst is someone i won't name i mean i i think i've seen at least a few literal crimes right you know do you think if the game was actually better there'd be a lot less unite drama no i think it's a weird perfect storm right i am a red love is worse than you that may be true. I don't really know all of what Red Love does or has done. I know about the Vin thing. Talk about matchmaking feels so valid being annoyed. Well, I mean, matchmaking has always just been bad. I mean, the game is still bad, ranked-wise. The only thing people ever bring up against me is stuff from the first six months of Unite. It, it is true, although I will say the thing that I've brought up whenever talking about you is, like, you were banned from Worlds, and, like, nobody fucking knows why. And, like, I don't do I think it's some crazy heinous thing. No, it's probably, like, more of a technicality than anything. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I could see it. Yeah, I could see it. I mean, listen, you're no different than I am in terms of delivery when you were, like, in your asshole arc, right? Um, like, there was, th there's no difference between me just, like, talking shit and you being on a stream and talking shit. I don't actually know if anything you said was, like, targeted and, like, bad. I really don't. I think you, you I think your, your stream personality, I don't know if you are now, sorry, forgive me for saying it, like, in current tense. I think your former stream personality was that of just, like, an egotistical asshole, but that's not really that uncommon in competitive games, you know what I mean? I don't think it matters that much. Hammy and Sammy said hi, Rin. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I think people found it surprising you got banned first year, then allowed again the following. I mean, it is surprising, right? Because you would you would assume that the implication of the ban was like bad enough to warrant it, or like or bad enough to carry weight going forward. But dude, there's so much bullshit. Like, do you know how much shit I could talk about with Lazadin too? Like, like Lazadin is so fucking fake. Um, a lot of LG is very fake. I mean, I, I like some of those guys, but like very fake anybody that that like that colors themselves like an advocate like an activist probably means well but it's just a it's literally a lunatic i got a man because my appeal was really cracked <laughs> they tried to keep me perma jesus man i mean Ren, i'm open to a conversation i'm kind of curious where you would take it because i feel like i feel like if i'm being honest i feel like you feel a bit agendaed which is not a bad thing i feel like that word has like a negative connotation if it, it feels like you have something you want to say which i'm like i'm i'm down to listen to 
I just think that my broader, my broader perspective on the Unite community is that it is, it, dude, there is so much noise on social media that has nothing to do with the game and honestly has not, has literally nothing to do with what actually matters to the game. It's just a lot of fucking people. Now, I think something a little bit more systemic and, and deeply rooted in, in the kind of the games like North American culture is whatever the fuck's going on with the pro scene. I don't know what the fuck's going on with the pro scene. I have, no, I have known that the pro scene has been fucked for a while. I mean, shit, you kicked me from, what, Floatstone for saying, I wonder what JL looks like, and then you roasted me for saying, like, you. I think your your actual words were, like, you talking about someone else's appearance. It's like, yeah, I was alluding to the fact that he was a geek, but it's because he was treating me like an asshole, right? Like, it was just, like, shit talk, right? But the pro scene has always been very sheltered, and the pro scene has always been very... Is the right word boys clubby? Boys clubby? It feels very boys clubbish. You know? Like, you got your boys, you got your people, you fuck with those people, and then maybe you cover up anything and everything they do. I don't fucking know. I just that's, that's what it feels like. I don't, know how, I don't know how the pro scene got that way. I don't really give a fuck. I don't think it's right, per se. I think if, if shit comes out, it should just come out. I think, the, I think the intentional plotting to bring shit out on people at the right time is super weird. Vin was spamming in, uh, in bombs during scrims, and no one has said a word on it publicly. See, I didn't even know that. Is there, is there proof of that, though? Because that's where, like, I'm not saying it's not provable, but if there's no proof on it, it's a little bit rough, right? Like, I'm, a, I'm big on, like, evidence-based, um, like, shit. I think it's kind of a systemic issue where people kind of defend their friends and banter others when it doesn't affect you, yeah? Only four of us, his teammates, saying it's true. Only all four of his teammates saying it's true? I mean, that's, boom. That's, that's, that's easy. That's an easy one, right? Four of his teammates who act as witnesses and uninvested like they're not you know what i mean like they have no reason to speak out against him um negatively like that wouldn't benefit them i don't think uh i think that that's not great right i think that that's pretty i think that's pretty uh condemnable right and that's the thing i think when you're someone reasonable like me that doesn't jump to immediate outrage you have people that don't like that right so let's talk about let's talk about saying the n-word right One of them debated canceling him, which is hilarious. What does that even mean? Debated canceling someone. Okay, hold on, really quick. Let me let me get through this thought. Let's talk about saying the N word, right? Like, it's it's bad, right? You should not do it. Um, but but I think that in any in any issue, things are not necessarily always super black and white. So in order to have an informed opinion and make a reasonable take. You should be willing to discuss it and have discourse around it, around the circumstances. How did we get to where we are with this controversy? So you could take Evie, you could take Vin, you could, you could take Phil, and you can walk through that process. But the crazy activists, they don't want to walk the walk. They just see word bad racist. And that's such a, that's such a fallacy, right? And now here's the thing. They could be right. They actually could be right. But you have to go through... And like, do your due diligence. You have to walk through the conversation. You have to, you have to corroborate. You need to investigate. It's not, it's not just if you jump to outrage and conclusions. Some things are pretty cut and dry. That's fair. But like, do things not deserve like a level of respect and care? And so like, when you're someone like me that likes to walk through the process of understanding what the fuck is happening, people that aren't like that and jump, jump to you know, outrage activism, social media activism, those are the people that, that end up clumping me in with the bad. They clump me into the bad because I'm not an outrage personality. It's, it's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. Like, dude, I have been called fat phobic, transphobic. I'm a woman harasser. I'm a, a Andrew Tate apologist, sex trafficker, trafficking apologist, um, now I'm probably racist. I don't know. I guess I'm racist now. You know what I mean? Like how many, how many, how many like sticky notes with some text on it? Can you slap on my back before you just realize that they're all not true? You know what I mean? Um, and then you have this, like, I'll look this up. The illusion of truth. The illusion of truth effect, the tendency to believe false information to be correct after repeated exposure. So then you have this, right? So now you call me, you call me all of these things so many times, some dumbass on Twitter is believing it, right? Someone at some point you say all these things enough times, someone believes it. Absolutely. And that's just like what happens. 
So yeah, I don't know. These fucking activists are fucking crazy. They're actually all lunatics. They're probably, like, some of them actually are probably mentally ill, which is sad to think about, because I've been there. Some of them are bored. Some of them want attention. It's crazy. TBH, I don't know uh, what is true and what's not at this point. Well, yeah, it just takes a little investigation, right? I don't know. What you're saying about jumping to conclusions and being mad about others not jumping to conclusions is like is so true. Legit describing all Twitter warriors. Dude, it's crazy. I, I like taking my time to get somewhere. Like, Y'all want to talk about the Pokey Ashley thing? Who remembers the Pokey Ashley thing? All right, let's clash this in session. Pokey Ashley was a very close friend of mine. Very close. We were super close. We're, we were very, very good friends. Ashley is the mother of two children. Ashley often would play Unite or would be on Twitter while parenting her two children. Ashley, very religious, very religious. Okay, that's not great when it comes to some social issues, right? Sure, whatever. Ashley ha saw a video. Someone was being transphobic in the video at a certain point in the video with, with some of their sentiments. She, she typed a comment on the tweet in support of their religious belief. She gets a bunch of hate for being transphobic. She did what some people do in these situations and she knee jerked and defended herself. And, and you know what I mean? She kind of like, she got defensive and fought back against it for a little bit. And then I end up seeing it all and I'm like, oh fuck, this doesn't look good. Right. You know what I did? I didn't post about how Ashley's transphobic and how I, I can't associate with her. I didn't do that. You know what I did? I called her. I called her cell phone. I called Ashley. I said, Hey, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I said, what the fuck is going on here? And um, she told me, she was like, I thought he was talking about his religious beliefs, and he was, but I didn't realize the way he was using them, and I didn't watch the full video. I was taking care of my son. I know his name. She told me his name in that scenario. She was like, I was taking care of my son because of blah, 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 blah. And she was like, I just, I, and then she's like, now I panicked, and now I kind of like, you know, I argued, and like, she was like, it seems like I doubled down, and blah, 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 blah. And I said, hey, look, you made a mistake. It's all good, right? Well, the internet doesn't agree with that. And... You know, she did like streaming and Twitter and shit for fun. So she just deactivated. She literally just deleted her shit and was like, fuck this, I'm done. Like, and I don't blame her at all, but she's not a hateful person. Not at all. She made a mistake. I, I, hear me out. I decided to give her the benefit of the doubt. I called her. I talked to her. She was like, yeah, that's fucked up. I didn't, I, that's not what I believe. And I don't feel that way. And I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Could I be wrong to do that? Yeah. Technically I could give someone who doesn't deserve it the benefit of the doubt. I absolutely could. I could be wrong, but guess what? This is how you deal with people when they make a mistake. You discuss it with them. You tell them your perspective. You say, hey, look, I don't think that's right. And you say, I don't want to see that from you or I can't be associated with you. And they, and if they're truly remorseful, if they made a mistake, they say, you know, you're right. I won't do it again. And then you watch their actions in the future. You watch their actions going forward. You don't hold them to their mistake. You live your life with empathy and you live your life believing that you can forgive and forget. And so then you watch their actions going forward. Had she stuck around on the internet, she didn't. Had she stuck around on the internet, I would have watched her actions. And had, to, had it happened again, I would have been like, hey, look, I can't be associated with you. This is not something I believe in. I don't, want, I don't like this. I, I, we've talked about this. I don't like it. I disagree with you. I'm personally going to. But I also don't ever need to make a scene about it either. Because I think that that's, that's the social media activism. I don't think you need to go online and tweet about how you ended a relationship with someone or ended a friendship with someone or how you're grieving the friendship and how it's so bad. Like, all of this is bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all performative. It's look at me. It's I want brownie points. I would never make these mistakes. I would never this. And what happened? Who remembers Urban Eyes? What happened with him? Who remembers Urban Eyes? Oh, good old Urban Eyes. Always on my back about how terrible I am. Always on my fucking ass about how awful a person I am. What ended up happening? Oh, wait. Evidence that he was a child groomer? Evidence that he was talking to an underage girl knowingly? That's weird. Where's the evidence like that against me? Oh, you don't have it. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm not saying it's everybody that does that, right? But I'm just saying, like... Dude, these fucking people using these people using people's mistakes to permanently keep people down um, up to years later feels very crabby in a bucket to me. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, even dude, even the law doesn't do that, right? Like, like you got to give people redemption, 
especially and sometimes you have to give people the benefit of the doubt sometimes you have to listen to them and understand them this bullshit where you go on twitter and you think holier than thou i would never make that mistake it's fake it's performative it's acting it's theatrics it's it's begging for attention it's looking for growth it's bullshit people still use pokemon clip from 10 years ago when she said the n word once absolutely they do absolutely they do they do it's true so it's bullshit you know what I don't really talk to Ashley that much these days, but guess what? She's out there. She's living her life. She's fine. And I still stand by my decision to give her the benefit of the doubt and to know that she made a mistake. Guess what? To this day, I am now transphobic. To this day, I defended someone being transphobic. That's what they believe. That is what they believe. They believe that I am a transphobe. You want to, here's the thing. The craziest thing about shit like this is like, if you want to ask my views, ask me, I'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of my perspectives and I'm not, I'm not shy. I'm not hiding. You want to know my, my perspective on trans, on trans rights and social issues like that. I I talked about it yesterday. I believe in, in people can do what they want. I don't care. You want to change your gender. I'm totally fine with that. I don't like when it encroaches children. Some people will disagree with that. I think that's totally fine. I don't like the idea of gender affirming care for children. I think that they're non-consenting human beings. I think that it should wait until 18 plus. I think educating them on the topic is fine. I'm actually fine with that. I think educating children about um, such things is okay. I don't, I don't really like the idea of forced gender affirming care. I don't like the idea of hormone blockers. I don't like the idea of surgery for children. Anything outside of that, I'm good with. I am transphobic. See, here's the thing. I'm not... I have no problems with people changing and being what they want to do. I'm fine with it. I have no problems. I, I, I'm totally accepting of that. But again, nobody asked me my opinion. They saw me support Ashley and they slapped a label on me. I don't like that. Not a fan of that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't defend a transphobe. You can't, you can't make up history. You don't get to pick and choose where my heart is. You want to call me, you want to call me racist? Sure. Good luck with that. And I'm not going to play the I have black friends and I have, you know, card, but I kind of am because guess what? I grew up, I grew up saying the N word with my football brothers. I've talked about this publicly too. I'm not ashamed of it. I grew up in a different time period, in a different environment with a different culture. I used to say the word almost every day of my life for probably like six years. And guess what? Times changed. My environment changes and I changed. And guess what? I have black family members. My great aunt married a black man. I have an entire part of my tree black. My stepfather, black. Does this give me a pass? No. Do I say the word? No. Am I racist? No. <laughs> it's easy. You just look at the facts and you make informed decisions about things. It's really fucking simple. So no, no one's not really calling me racist, but sure, someone will probably jump to that conclusion soon just because I'm defending Phil, who guess what is also not racist. <laughs> who guess what is also not racist? Most likely. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, right? I'm still in that giving the benefit of the doubt phase. I got to watch what Phil does going forward. Now, here's the thing. Is it easy for me to condemn Phil's actions? Yeah, don't say the word. It's not that fucking complicated. Don't say the word. But guess what? I don't need to condemn him to the max degree. I don't need to condemn him and cancel him. I don't need to call for him to be banned from UCS. I don't need to make a public statement giving my thoughts about what Phil did. It's not fucking necessary. But he admitted he's still using it to this day, um, IRL. I mean, I haven't heard that, but guess what? Even if that's the case, it's probably culturally and environmentally, it's probably culturally and in an environment where it's safe to do so. Do you think he's walking around using the word around people that, that don't feel comfortable? Like, who's he hurting? And if he's hurting someone, then that's a problem, right? And if he's hurting someone online that will never meet him, well, then that's really fucking easy to do. It's really fucking easy to offend people and make people upset that you'll never have an impact on their lives. So, like, to think that it's black and white like that is silly. It's foolish. It's a child's game. And I also didn't hear him say that. So, to be fair, that's my stance. On all the activism shit, all the canceling people forever shit, all this, it's all bullshit. It's look at me, come join my community because we're a safe space. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. It's bullshit. And you know what? Some of it isn't bullshit. And those are the people that I feel bad about because the people that do want to have safe spaces and be helpful and all these things, they just get drowned out by the nonsense. It's all, it's all performative social media points. U.S. is trying so hard to push non-nuclear family structure to help companies, and we at this point are just accepting it. The world is laughing at us. No country takes us seriously anymore. I mean, I agree on that, but maybe not necessarily for the same reasons that you do. But listen, 
my my stance is simple the world is not safe and the world is not going to care if you feel comfortable all the time you need to have tough fucking skin and be able to manage your own self you can't have there is no good without bad it is the yin and yang of human existence and of the universe there is like how do you <laughs> it's this all just feels so normal i don't even know how to explain it because it all feels so very obvious to me there will never be a world without hate but you can do your best to not have that in your life and you can do your best to, to to make change in your life right but guess what there will always be racists you're not get you're not eradicating hatred it's not going to fucking happen you're not doing it i'm sorry twitter your your device your 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 device to end hatred in the world is not twitter i promise you you're not fucking doing anything wake the fuck up now, should you stop? No, it's a great ideal, but you need to be reasonable. You need to be informed. You need to be reasonable. That's always my perspective. I like looking at things. I like analyzing. I like getting the facts. And, and when, you, when you fail to do that, you're a fool. You make decent points, but what do you provide? Are you a net positive human? I think I'm, I think I, I think I'm viewed negatively, and I'm kind of an asshole. Uh, but in terms of like, if you want to look at the bigger picture of my existence as a human, I, I believe that I'm a positive person. I want nothing but peace and love and prosperity for people. I take care of the people in my life. I, you know what I mean? Like I'm, 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 I, I think that I'm a good person. I view myself as a good person. I don't know many people that go out of their way to view themselves as a bad person. I think I'm abrasive and I think I'm an asshole, but I think I'm a net positive on human existence. And also I think that, that in, in, in the grand scheme of things, I think my life is also very insignificant, you know? But yeah, I don't know, man. It's just this, it's just this like burning need for people to have a singular belief in the world. Like, do y'all think it's possible? Let me ask a simpler question. Do you think it's possible for the entire world to only ever and for all future time speak one language? Do you think that's a realistic goal to have everyone in the world speaking one language? So I think it's a little bit silly to believe that, personally. I think it's possible. I think it's possible, yeah, technically. But I think it's a little bit silly. I think not really. There's always going to be culture. And there's always going to be differences, right? People are we, are, we are biologically the same, but we are very culturally and historically different. And so if you understand that fact, then you should be willing and, and capable of, of having the thought that that might be the same when it comes to talking about um, our views as a whole, our social and political views, right? Like some people are just not ever gonna agree with you and that's okay, you know? Like that's, that's kind of fine. I do think there will come a time where everyone can speak a little English. I even, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's possible. I think even that's a little bit naive. I, I just doubt that some countries and some people will ever feel the need to fully adopt English. I mean, it could happen, but not in my lifetime, right? Like maybe centuries and centuries from now where the world is a completely different place and everything that I can conceptualize as the human experience is completely different with technology and, and shit anyways. Like it may be fucking easy in the future, but like right now, is it like, is it reasonably possible to believe that with, like everyone in the world is going to have the same belief about everything? No, like not even close, right? So like if you believe, um, like let's take, I'm going to take two perspectives. These are really harsh things to say out loud, but like let's say one group of people believes that 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 like, gender trans shit is mental illness and the other doesn't believe that do you really think you're going to change those people to believe the same thing as you the answer is no you're not going to change them i think having reasonable and healthy conversations about anything you know, u.s politics global politics uh, uh about gender about sex about marginalized groups of people about the economy about anything is healthy i think having healthy reasonable conversations is good but to be intolerant to be intolerant of the ability to have the conversation or to have the opinion at all is foolish. I'm fine with people having the opinions. I don't have to agree with them. Centuries from now, it's going to be Chinese. Fuck yeah, probably. Why would you want everyone to speak one language? Exactly. I mean, I was just using that as the point to, to kind of say like, it's not that I want everybody to speak one language. It's just that I don't think it's actually reasonable. So the same in that same vein of thought or that same school of thought, it's not actually reasonable for you to believe that everyone in the world is going to believe the same thing socially either. You know? So it wasn't actually about English. I was making a, like a kind of comparison to the train of thought. Like 
if you don't believe that the whole world will most likely speak English or can, you know, completely trend transition to one language then most likely the whole world's not going to believe one same thing about social issues either right like some of these other countries don't give a fuck about this at all does that make that are all of those like backwards bigoted countries i don't think that's necessarily fair or true no i don't know my point is that like when it comes to individuals making mistakes i look at intent I look at the history, and then I watch their actions going forward. I think I like to take a I take I like to take a level headed approach to dealing with shit like this. I don't know. Let's take a let's take a look at three examples that happened recently. I know very minimal about Vin Diesel, but I'll go out of my way to say like, do I think he's racist? I don't know. He probably has the hardest case against him for being racist if he's just spam using the word for no no reason and getting angry about it, and that probably means he doesn't have good good reasonable uh, reasons or. <laughs> history for for there, there to be any kind of reasonable excuse so yeah maybe that's possible all right evie she admitted to saying the word in a song while singing a song do i think she's racist no probably not shouldn't say the word though i think that's pretty reasonable to say phil uses the word as slang you know maybe even says it irl with people around him do i believe he's racist hateful at heart nope sure don't do i need to cancel all these people no no i don't you know what I can say about him? Stop using the fucking word. It's not that hard. That's my immediate that's my immediate take on it. That's my immediate take. I don't think I, I probably don't believe that they're all racist and hateful people. I do think that they should all not be saying the word. I don't say the word. Not that complicated. Am I also comfortable talking about my history and how I used to say the word probably every day of my life for 6 years? Yeah, that's not that hard either. You know why? Cuz it's not a big deal. History, context, culture, environment, people I grew up with. What was the context? What was the intent? It's not that complicated. You can you can literally talk about all of these things and have a conversation without posting a tweet and condemning someone to, to ending their career. It's fucking stupid. It's actually just stupid. I just wish people were reasonable. That's what that's what's missing. The ability to have thought and discussion and reason as opposed to being upset.